Hello guys! So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google AdSense step by step 2016. I made a video about this about a year and a half ago and I would like to update it and answer a few questions that you guys have had. So let's get started. So number one, yes, you need to be 18 years or over to create or set up a Google AdSense account. Number two, you need to make $10 to activate your AdSense account. Number three, you need to make $100 to link your bank account details or your PayPal account details to Google AdSense. Now, until you make $100, you won't get paid from Google AdSense. So just be mindful of that. And number four, you can set up Google AdSense from your blogger account. So you don't need to follow the process that I'm showing you now. You can place ads in your blog, like for example, this one here. Also, from YouTube videos, when people watch YouTube videos and you see this pop-up ad that is appearing here, as well as those that you have five seconds to click away, all of these ads also generate money for people. So that's how it works. Now let's get started with setting up AdSense. So the first thing that you want to do is go to Google. I find this is one of the easiest ways to get to it. And then just type in the search area, AdSense, sign up. So I'm putting here UK and that's just because I'm in a different country. So I want it to show in English. And then once you type that into your search area, click enter and then click on sign up for AdSense Google. So you have two possibilities here. You can either use your already existing Google email account to sign up for AdSense or you can create a new one. I'm going to be clicking here, create account. I highly recommend that you add correct details here because if you want to get paid later from Google, then you really want to make sure that everything is correct and there are no discrepancies which might get you into trouble later. So let me add my details. Of course, I'm not going to add my true details here because it's a demonstration. And then hit the next step. So it is obviously advisable to read through the terms and conditions. Click I agree. And the next thing we need to do is verify our email address. So agree. And that's it. We verified it and now we can continue. The next step is to enter your website address here or your YouTube name. So if you've got a YouTube name, you can write that right here. So www.youtube or you put in your website address. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to add my website address and this is my primary website address. Now, obviously I'm going to choose English because that's what I'm speaking right now. And I want my ads to show in English as well. There you go. And then click continue. Now for country of territory, I'm going to go with the UK. So you choose the country where you usually reside and London time is very correct. So that's fine. I am an individual. So I'm going to leave that as it is. If you're a business, by all means, make sure you highlight business and then you add your name. So fill out your name, your street, your town, your county, your postcode and your telephone number. Make sure that all of the details are correctly filled out. Now I've had a few people ask me questions because Google hasn't accepted their website address and there are some reasons why that is the case. So for example, if you haven't written enough blogs on your website yet or your blog articles are way too short. So make sure your blog articles are 500 words or more in terms of content. Also make sure that you are using original content. And once you're fine with your application, you want to hit submit my application. If you want to check if your application is successful, you want to go to Google and this is how you can sign into your Gmail account. It says Google AdSense has reviewed your application. Welcome to AdSense. Your application has been successfully reviewed. So if I click on this, there you go. It's saying that my um, application has been successful and that I can get started with placing ads on my website. So let's do that now. Now, if for any reason Google AdSense doesn't accept your application, it would tell you why it hasn't accepted it. And it, can, it will also tell you what you can do in order to fulfill all of the requirements. So make sure you follow that. When you just get started, all of this will be blank and you will be creating just your first ad. So let's do that now. 
If you want to check how much you make, maybe at the end of the month or anything like that, you can go here to the home section. It tells you here what you've made so far, what you made yesterday, seven days ago, um, the last 28 days. And this is where Google shows you how much they will pay you at the end of the month. And this is from the previous month. And also you can check more detailed information here where it says payment. So you can check how much you got paid from YouTube, how much you got paid for your website. So here's where you can find out more detailed information. So I'm going to create an ad unit now. So I'm going to go to my ads. And as I mentioned before, this is going to be all blank when you first start. So click here on new ad unit and make sure you give it a name. We're going to call it ad one. So you can create the horizontal banner ads if you like, vertical banner ads which go like this, and um, rectangular ads. This is the one that I usually use on my website. Let me show you an example. So the 300 by 250. And if I go to my website, you'll see it's right there. Here you go, 300 by 250. And I like this one for my widget area. But I could also use this one, for example, the vertical one, which sort of looks like this my facebook widget here it sort of looks like that but obviously this is not an adsense ad but just a facebook widget so anyways i'm going to create one now using the rectangular option the 3 by 250 so i'm going to leave this as text and display ads that's what it is text and display here and you can edit your text and style so if we go there let's make minimalist so if you want to edit you go to copy and edit and we can change the text color, but I'm not going to do that now. You can also change the title to purple, for example. Let's just save these. You can also change the font family if you like and make it something else, but I'm going to leave that and let's save that. Okay, so once you're happy with the ad and your creation, you want to go to save and get code. Something I recommend is that you change this to synchronous. I find out whenever that is in asynchronous it doesn't show on my website what I mean is the ad doesn't show on my website so I'm gonna copy this copy and then I'm gonna head over to my website and paste it in this widget area down there so I'm just gonna log into my website right now okay so I've now logged into my website and I am at my dashboard now the first place that I want to place my ad is so right here on the right hand sidebar of my website by the way, I am on my WordPress website. So this is WordPress. I go to appearance and widgets. Okay, so here on my widgets area, I wanna scroll all the way down and I wanna grab this text option here. Just drag it up and here where it says right sidebar, I'm gonna put it all the way here to the top so you can see the ad right at the top of my um, right hand sidebar really. And then you want to paste the code in here and save. And let me just open this in a different tab. There you go. The ad should be showing right here at the top now, hopefully. So as you can see, it's not showing. Don't panic when that happens, okay? This happens sometimes. So if this does happen to you, you wanna go back to AdSense and change it from synchronous to asynchronous, then copy the code and paste it into that text box that you used earlier and save it. And that usually resolves the problem. Now, if it doesn't resolve it straight away, you may have to wait a few minutes or even an hour and usually it will show after. So I did make a mistake earlier. I mentioned that I used this one for my website, 300 by 250. So I guess it must have been this one here, 250 by 250. Now you can also place the ad right here in your main area page. And if you want to know how to do this, I have done this in my other tutorial, how to set up AdSense account in my previous tutorial. So check that out. I will link the minute in the description box just in case you're interested. So this is how you set up an AdSense account and then embed the ad unit code into your website. Now, if you want to know how to do this for YouTube, I'm gonna take you through this now. In order to monetize your videos and actually link your YouTube account to AdSense, you need to be at least 18 years old or over. What you wanna do in order to do that, you need to go to channels again and here where it says 
enable monetization click on enable enable my account make sure to read through the terms and conditions and then you can just check all of these different boxes and click I accept so here are your ad formats just leave it as it is and click on monetize yes we've got that so this symbol here tells you that your video is monetized. Now there's one more thing you need to do in order to actually get paid for your videos. You need to go to channels here. So that's the last step that you need to do in order for you to actually get paid. Here where it says monetization, you wanna go to view monetization settings. And then here where it says, how will I get paid? Click on that. Let's click on the link here. And then click next. So here you can just sign in with the Google Gmail account that you created earlier, or you can also create a new one if you want as well. And then you want to click on accept association and that's all you need to do. Now, if you want to link your blogger account to AdSense, you can do it directly on your blogger account. And there are many tutorials on YouTube to show you how to do that. So head over to YouTube, type that into the search area, how to set up Google AdSense for blogger. And there should be one or two tutorials out there that will guide you through the process. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it useful, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more tips on how to YouTube and website better. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye and enjoy your day.